Havasupai's waterfalls are known worldwide for their unique beauty. People make the difficult trek to the southwestern corner of the Grand Canyon to take photos of the blue cascades along Havasu Creek. For as famous as these sites are, the Havasupai tribe is notably private. Signs warn visitors cameras are not allowed in the village of Supai. Without any roads, mule trains carry supplies down into the canyon and along a 10-mile trail to the village, home to fewer than 500 people. The only other options are a hike or a helicopter. And citing the high costs of the helicopter and other challenges, a contractor said it would cost $2 million to rebuild two small homes which burned in this remote village. There's no Home Depot near you. So Enter Habitat for Humanity. A lot of people were skeptical at the beginning, like, oh my goodness, bottom of the Grand Canyon. Habitat chapters statewide agreed to take on the rebuild in Supai. At that first meeting, did you have any idea what you guys were getting yourselves into? We knew what it took. We had no idea how complicated the project was going to be. Habitat crews flew prefabbed parts of the homes in through all kinds of weather, including strong winds and snow, which slowed construction a bit. And with a limited power supply in the canyon, Habitat also had to fly their own generators in, along with all of their own tools and basic needs for the volunteers themselves. The food was a challenge because when we got down there, uh, I don't think the supai were ready for feeding our staff. 150 Habitat staff and volunteers confronted the challenges and built two homes here in four weeks. And the Havasupai tribe granted our cameras unprecedented access to go see their work firsthand. All right, we're heading in. We've got our tent, a couple days worth of food and a ton of water and a 10 mile hike to go check it out. The families who moved in requested privacy, but members of the tribal council agreed to talk about the impact this has had on the community. They're very grateful uh, and they're, they're really amazed on how quickly uh, uh, the two homes went up. The tribe granted us permission to show you the finished products, which they bluntly admit would not be standing without habitat. We were kind of in limbo when we got the first bid. The contractor was actually saying, hey, you'll have the first million dollar home in Supai. <laughs> and Habitat built the homes for a quarter of that cost using volunteers. At first, the first group that came in didn't know what they were getting into. When it was finished, Habitat donated all of the tools they'd flown in and left behind another lasting gift, knowledge and new skill sets. It was a huge task and, and, and I'm just really glad they were able to pull it off. The Arizona chapters say Habitat for Humanity has never done anything like what they accomplished in the Grand Canyon. It's an amazing thing and it was proven out down at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, which I say it proves Habitat reach is not only wide but deep. <laughs> as deep as it gets. About as deep as it gets.